Hey there, welcome to the video. If you guys are new here, my name is Laura and I make videos about holistic lifestyle, clean beauty and home, all that good jazz. And today, I am bringing you a clean body care favorites roundup. I have never done this, ever, in the past six years. I've never done this, I don't know why. But, here we are today. So before we jump in, if you guys are not subscribed and you like holistic lifestyle, clean beauty, all that good stuff, make sure to subscribe. I would love to see here, see you here every time I have a new video. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps YouTube know that people are liking these videos and show them to other people. I think the reason I've never done a video like this is because I'm not a spa loving, self-care, let me slather my body in lotion before I go to bed every night kind of a gal. But that's not to say I don't have favorites. All right, first up, we're talking about body cleanser. Now, I have a tried and true favorite. I don't stray from it. It is my favorite, and it's the one I recommend to everybody and use on my toddler as well. It's the Olivia Enzymatic Body Cleanse. The reason I love this so much is that it is made with prebiotics, which are so good for your skin and doesn't strip the skin and just like basically gives your skin nutrients while you're cleansing it. It also makes a really great bubble bath for your kids if you're looking for something that does have that bubbly texture to it. And to get that, you actually will need to squeeze it into your running water. And it has a great texture. I love the unscented one. It's my favorite. There are scents if you are a scent lover. And then after we hop on out of the shower, we like to moisturize, don't we? So I've used a lot of things over the years. I've tried lotions, body butters, but I always come back to oils and I have three favorites, although one is discontinued now, I believe, which is the Beauty Counter Baby Oil. It is the best unscented body oil I've ever tried, but I don't know if we anyone can get their hands on it anymore. I quite enjoyed this Filane Instant Glow body oil. I love a spray body oil. They're messier, so I'm not sure why I like them so much. <laughs> a Cure used to do a really great body oil spray. I'm sure that you guys remember me talking about it if you used to watch years ago. But this one is great and it has a very like spa-like scent, but it's not overpowering or strong and it does not bother me. And if you guys are new here, I'm extremely sensitive to fragrances, including natural essential oil fragrances. The one I find myself going to the most often is the Honest Organic Body Oil. This I love because it is affordable. It's like, I wanna say 12 bucks. It doesn't come in glass if that's a deal breaker for you. And it has a very light scent. I. I don't think that they point out a scent and sort of like leave you to believe that it's unscented, but it isn't. It is, it's like a very faint, what is it? Like citrus mixed with calendula type of a scent. It's very faint though. Um, I don't mind it at all. And it's easy to get your hands on too. Please don't take my hands as an example of how well these things work right now. It is currently been about negative 10, negative five for a week. And as you guys know, I am potty training my puppy. So I am outside probably 15 times a day and I am uh, apparently not smart enough to grab mittens or gloves when I go out. So my hands look shredded between the weather and the puppy teeth. But I have four to talk about. So this borage seed oil, this has been my go to heavy duty hand cream for years and years and years and years. I love this. It is also affordable. It's fairly clean. It doesn't have a scent. It's not greasy. Uh, it, it's accessible. It's great. It's just, it's great. <laughs> Grab some. My favorite scented, like give as a gift, not heavy duty for the regular person, not in the winter hand creams, are from 100% Pure. I love their scents. They're very light, they're very real. This one was Gingerade. I actually remember not loving this scent though. I do really like their grapefruit and blood orange scents. Those are my two favorites. And they usually come in like a holiday gift pack. At the holidays, that was some rep repetition there. Holiday gift pack at the holidays. But 
that's really great because you can like split it up and hand them out to people. Another one that I don't have right now, but if you love a body butter, check out Flourish. I have talked about them on this channel before. Their scents are out of this world. I'll insert a photo. Uh, my favorites, oh, I have two favorites. One would be the Honey Blossom Marshmallow, I think is what it's called. And the other one is the Lavender Mint. Now, Lavender Mint sounds really kind of like bland to me. It's not your normal Lavender Mint. It is really fresh and like invigorating and they do hair care as well with those scents too. The two like heavy duty hand products I've gotten this winter since it's been below zero and with a puppy shredding my flesh. Okay, that's maybe dramatic. He only shredded it once. Okay, once. <sighs> We're getting there. We're almost to the end of the nipping stage, I think. He's 14 weeks old, and I read that it, it's really bad from 12 to 16 weeks. So I feel like the end is in sight. But I had been actually like slathering my hands in Vaseline. Cue the gasps, I know. But it was literally the only thing that was working for me. So I got, I thought I would try this Dr. Bronner's Unscented Organic Magic Balm. This is not as thick as Vaseline. You can see it's kind of like a solid and it works nicely, particularly in like open wounds, like this one that Watson gave me. I find this to be very greasy to wear by itself if I if it was like during the day. At night, no problem. But I will put a hand cream on over it to kind of like hide the grease situation. But this is very heavy duty and you can use it on a lot of things because it's Dr. Browner's and Dr. Browner's stuff is made for like 50 uses for every product. And the other new one to me that I have been reaching for a lot, this is thicker than the Borage Seed Oil. It is the Mary Ruth's Hydrating Hand Cream. I got the Unscented. It is a very thick hydrating hand cream for the winter. If your hands are suffering, I would recommend this. I would recommend this, the Borage Seed, the Magic Balm, and like really any of those I feel like and layer them if you need to. I'm gonna warn you this bottle has seen better days and I'll tell you why. So we're gonna talk about shaving cream. So for shaving cream I use two different things. I will also use the Alivia body cleanse. This works great for shaving but I don't really like to waste that on shaving and I love the kiss my face moisture shave. This I get the fragrance free. You can see it's kind of gross looking and that's because I have used this for years. It like disappeared for a couple years. I found it again. I'm like unsure if they're making it, if that was like an old stock that I found. If you can get your hands on it, it's a fantastic shaving cream. But I have bought so many bottles of this and the pumps have never once worked for me. So I kind of have to like dig it out and then like grab it off of the stick of the pump. But it's worth it to me because I love the shaving cream. Again, very affordable too. Okay, let's talk about deodorant, shall we? So I have tried a lot of natural deodorant. One of the videos I made in like my first year here on YouTube was comparing a bunch of natural deodorants as I transitioned into using natural deodorant. And thank goodness, new deodorants are made every year. However, I feel like I have finally met my deodorant soulmate match, holy grail, one true deodorant love. And it is the Primally Pure Deodorant in Lavender. They have a number of scents. There's like charcoal, geranium, blue tansy, probably some others. But for whatever reason, lavender doesn't bother me. I think it smells fine. And it works the best for me. This just works the best for me. Um, we're all different. We all have different body chemistry, but this is the deodorant I have bought over and over and over and over and over again. All right, I got a couple more random things. Let's talk about nails. Um, obviously, I did not do my nails for this video because like I said, my hands are so bad that it would literally be like, what is that saying? Putting, slapping lipstick on a pig? That's how I'd feel about doing my nails right now. But let's talk about that. So again, if you've been with me for a long time, this is no surprise to you. It is the Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. This works so well. It kind of has like a tropical scent, but it's not It's not like an offensive smell. Uh, it works great. Again, super affordable. Let's talk nail polish. So I have a number of 
brands that I own. For instance, I have some 100% Pure, I have some Zoya, I have 10 over 10, I have, oh, I should have brought a 10 over 10 down. I didn't, I do like 10 over 10. And you can also buy them at Target, so that's great. But the two that I have been using a lot of, I love Isla, I think that's Ayla, A-I-L-A. This is one of my favorite formulas. This is a little more pricey, but for a more reasonably priced clean nail polish, I use Ella and Mila. Again, you can get this at Target. They have a really nice shade range, I think, too. I want to say these are around $10, whereas like Isla and 10 over 10, I think are closer to $20. These are all at least five free. So now for my toddler, I use Piggy Paint and it does not say on your nails at all, <laughs> but it has zero set. So that is why I like to use that for her and she loves it. We have a ton of like little colors. Again, you can get them at Target and those are also pretty affordable. This is obviously the winter, <laughs> but as long as we're talking about body, let's talk about sunscreen. So again, I've tried pretty much every sunscreen. I have a blog post about sunscreen and if you're looking for sunscreen products for your face, I have a massive blog post and I think a video comparing 15 of them. So I will link those down below. But my favorite sunscreen for my body is the Beauty Counter Counter Sun. It sinks in the best for me. It blends in the skin really well for my skin tone. I don't believe there's a tinted one of the lotion. There is a tinted one of the spray if you have darker skin. But this has just been the one that I, I don't feel greasy. I don't feel like I'm wearing like a natural mineral sunscreen. This is just my favorite. Anyways, I think that will do it for all of my body care favorites. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. Obviously, you know, I like to try new things and I can give them a whirl. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video.